Hello everyone, I've got the F head block out of the cleaning tank and doing a little crack checking right now and I have the top of it covered in the penetrant, I cleaned it, I put the <clears throat> penetrant on there and we're going to let that sit for half an hour like we normally do and we're checking for cracks around the valves uh, between the cylinders, anywhere there's a water jacket uh, right in this area here and I had a little mark over here I think it was from the distributor but I'm crack checking that anyway and on the L heads see there's extra little reinforcement in the casting here on the L heads that wasn't there very common um, for the L heads to crack right under the distributor um, we're going to check that out anyway. They normally don't crack there. I had a little something going on. I had a lot of rust over by the um, the drain cock for the cooling system. Uh, so I'm going to check that out. And there's the plugs. Uh, when they cast it, they were able to get the uh, casting sand out there. Um, a lot of people call them freeze plugs. Um, they don't actually bust out if uh, the block is going to crack or anything uh, due to uh, frozen coolant in there. But uh, more common than not, they're called freeze plugs. But they were just used to get the uh, casting sand out of the block. Uh, so I'm going to check these few areas. Uh, I gave a quick measurement on the bores. This is a standard block. Uh, which I always like to have standard blocks if I can get my hands on them and luckily this is a standard block um, They beat the hell out of the crank though the uh, the mains didn't turn out too bad. They're uh, they're 20 and The rods they had to take all the way to 50 under uh, To clean the rod journals up uh, Not terrible. I don't mind taking them that far, but uh, it was surprising. There was some deep scoring in there from uh, I don't know, dirty oil or whatever they were doing with this engine. But um, <clears throat> crank is clean and ready to go. Uh, block still needs to be decked. Once we ensure there's no cracks in it, it uh, needs to be cleaned again. And um, we're not too far out on the bore. I'm going to go over how to measure the bore on a block so you uh, get a good idea how that goes. Um, but. Uh, we're just a hair over, so we'll probably clean this up in uh, a ten thousandths oversize. Uh, we'll see how it goes once we start boring it. Uh, otherwise, it looks pretty clean. And little by little, we're making progress on this. So uh, let's check for some cracks, and then uh, if I have any assistance today, we'll get this loaded up on the mill, and we'll take a cut. We have some heavy pitting right in this area here. I'll show that to you after everything is cleaned up. But uh, I want to try and get a little bit of that out. And uh, I'll show you the process as it happens. Okay, there's the block. I'm happy with all the areas that we checked. And I think you can see around this particular valve seat and cylinder and you can see all the pitting that's in here all the other ones are fine but for some reason uh, must have been a head gasket failure here so you could see where it all got around a valve seat um, the die just really sat down in there and you can see that so hopefully within a couple thousands we'll get most of that out but everything else looks good. That area I was concerned about up here uh, didn't turn out to be anything. And anything around here uh, that I was concerned about didn't show up. So I feel good about this block. And I will put it up on the mill and show you the procedure for uh, getting it parallel and level and so we make a nice even cut and uh, we'll shim it where we need to and take off the absolute minimum that we have to to get a perfectly flat surface and our reconditioned cylinder head will mate perfectly on there 
So hang in there. I've got to get this from the bench to the mill. And um, I'll be right back with you when I have it set up. Hey everybody. It's been a couple days, but uh, I'm continuing on with this F-head rebuild here. I have the block on the mill. I have it clamped down securely. I have the main caps tightened, torqued properly. Uh, I like to have all the internal stresses of the block uh, as they'll be whenever I'm doing anything, if I'm decking, if I'm honing, uh, if I'm boring, anything like that. I like everything uh, at its proper torque. So I have it there. I have the cutter ready to go. I have the block. Uh, it sat pretty well on the table. I have one three thousandths thick shim on the front corner uh, just under the fuel pump there I have one three thousandths thick shim there just to bring everything as close as I could possibly get I want to take the minimum off the head that I can uh, you remember we have to get some pitting out of there that I'd like to get out of there um, so um, <clears throat> we'll see what happens I mean we'll start that up and, and and take light cuts like I always do and to get the to get this positioned I just like I always do, I take the the uh, the depth mic and I rest it on my cutter, and I check this all along the block in various areas from the cutter down, and I get the block jigged up just as perfect as I possibly can, and that will allow us to take the lightest possible cut. So I'm going to get um, the camera in better position, and we'll fire up the mill and we'll start taking light cuts off of this block. Okay, we're just taking the first light skim cut off there to see what the block looks like in relation to the cutter. Uh, like I say, I feed it very slow to get a good cut. We gotta cut these valve seats. Uh, that's tougher material on the cast iron. So it's gonna go nice and easy. And I'll take you along and show you how it looks. Uh, as we get uh, to reach a cup. Okay, that was our first pass, just over half a thousandths, maybe, uh, looking at the dial, maybe seven tenths on that first cut. We got most of the block. I'm not happy with this area in here. In here, I want to get a little bit more. I don't know if you can see it, but we still have our engine number in there. That's how little we took off. 4J288, you can start to see that number, I think. And I want to get a little bit of this pitting out. And I'm just going to take a full 1,000th cut on this next pass. And that should be fine. It should clean the whole block up. So we'll be roughly um, one and a half, you know. <clears throat> one and seven tenths so I'm happy the way it's going um, we did not cut any of the seats yet this seat I can still feel is down that seats down a little bit this seat is down just a little bit and this one we just started to just started to kiss that one there so gonna set up for a one thousandths cut on this make another pass and it should clean it up perfectly and then we'll be ready to uh, we'll have a nice flat surface for the boring bar and our bores will come out uh, perfectly square to the block and everything so uh, take your time and get your decking right um, make sure your block is uh, is decked perfectly and the whole rest of the engine rebuild will come out uh, square and 
and proper and everything will uh, will work out just fine so I'm gonna set up for another thousands cut and uh, I'll show you what that looks like when it's done starting our 1000th final cut. Okay, here's the finished block. Less than two thousandths taken off there. We cleaned up around this area here that I was concerned about. We had some pitting in there, but the gasket seals way outside of that area, so that's fine. We just just kissed this valve seat here. Uh, these two in the center were down. And we just tickled this one here. You can see our engine number is still in there. And all the original casting uh, stamps in the casting are still there. There's an E over there, a C over there. So we just made that perfectly flat. Didn't take off any more than we actually needed to. I don't want to have to start uh, really hogging the seats out to get the valve sunk down in there. Um, so just the bare minimum. The block is nice and flat now. And we're going to get the straight edge out and confirm that we're perfect. But just from looking at it, I can tell we're right on the money. So I will get this unbolted from the table. And we're ready for the next step. Uh, I won't be boring this today. Uh, I've got to get uh, a few new cutter bits and a chamfering bit to do the uh, the lead in here. So those are not here yet, but uh, they should be here any day now. So as soon as then come in, they come in, I will uh, show you how to set up the boring bar, and we'll go through this and get the block board, and we'll be on our way. Um, got to get some bearings for the crankshaft and things are happening so there is a properly decked F head block and I'll be with you guys for uh, the next steps through here so thanks for watching this one and I will catch you on the next video